It's Sunday, May 28th here at the West End Gun Club. It's Memorial Day weekend right here at the range to get prepped for the May NRL 22 match here at the West End Gun Club. It's just before 6, about to crack open the condoms container, get all the stuff set up and ready to go, and hopefully we have a good match today. This is the first match of the new 2023-2024 season. We have uh, about 25 people signed up, I think, pre-registered, so it should be a pretty decent match. And uh, let's go ahead and get set up and get ready for when people arrive. Call people out on it. Well, call them out. We'll politely tell a person if they are violating a range safety rule, um, even if it's me. Sometimes, for example, I forget to drop my magazine at the end of the stage. If I step off the line with the magazine in my gun, you must tell me, hey, your magazine's in the gun, clear it. But I don't take offense to that. We just forget sometimes. We're kind of moving a lot of people on the line. We're trying to get off the line as quickly as possible so people can shoot. But just remember, safety is important. If somebody slips up on something, a uh, chamber flag, anything like that, just let them know, hey, we got your chamber flag, your empty chamber indicator, put it in. It's, it's cool, right? And if someone tells you something, don't take offense in it. Just, you know, tell them thanks. I'll be sure to correct that action, right? Impact. Impact. 
am I doing here? Am I going to shoot off the top? Oh, I probably should have shot off the top. I made a mistake here. Um, let's do this. I didn't want to do this, but we'll do it. Thank you. 
Impact. Impact. I think you dropped one round in, early, in the beginning. 20 seconds. Oh. Two, two. I'll give it to you that one. It's one point. Point three is the rule, so. That was a clean. Number six, uh, second base class. Uh, is Bell Magana. 410. Even. Uh, fifth place overall, open class would be Jeremiah Burns. 41309. First base class uh, will be Ian Ellis, fourth place. 450.97. Where's Ian? Okay, I'll give you a little tag after this. Uh, third place, open class, third overall is Chris Filth with a 461.33. Second place overall, open class is Anthony Shaw with a 503.88. And first place is myself, apologies. Uh, open class, John Vinokia, 520.89. I did not drop <laughs> Please boo. <laughs> Draw. So hopefully I have a ticket because I didn't write names on it, so okay. we'll read the number. I'm mixing them up good. Alright, we'll read the number. 75. Five. No, sorry. sorry. 7951136. Oh. <laughs> That's not me. 36. 36. Oh, really? Uh, hey, I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> These are cleaning rods? Yes. Oh, I've already got some. You don't want you want to want to redraw? Want to pass it on? You want to pass it on or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll put this one back in. Thanks, Lou. Thanks, Lou. Thank you so much. Or you're generous. Seven nine five one two two. That's me. Oh, hey. Hey. Nice. Hey. Nice. Hey. Nice. That's great. She wins everything. She got that. Spot and scope. It's 1,300 hours. Right now, match finished about an hour ago, but I've been sticking around taking care of the target tree and whatnot, get everything uh, packed away in the Connus container. And I'm sticking around right now to do a little bit of live fire testing after the fact. Uh, one experiment with something before I, leave, before I leave the range. In any case, the range footage today is, or the match footage today is kind of off because I know, I don't know why my, my microphone volume was off for like the first part of it. I don't know why, but it was off. So if I use that footage, it's going to have music overlaid over it because, you know, there's no uh, sound. And outside of that, I forgot my mic. So if I sound all weak and you have all this background noise, it's because I am using the on-camera mic, although it is a external microphone added to the camera. Uh, in any case, this footage is probably, this vlog is going to be a little bit weird compared to others because I don't have good sound. And in any case, I, if you saw the results, I did finish, I did take first place overall in this match. I didn't drop around, surprisingly. I don't know, I just felt like pretty, I, I didn't really practice position since I last came out to do the run through. But I don't know, I just got in, got into the stages, it felt okay, and I, Got my shots in, and they were all breaking pretty well, so I didn't drop any rounds today. So all was well, and I was good enough to take the match. Um, second place was he dropped two rounds, so I mean that's kind of how close it is in these matches. You know, you, if you uh, drop one round or two, that'll cost you the match. So I mean that's it's great that people are 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 starting to creep up towards the top, and there's more. You know, and in any day of the you know any month, it could be a different winner. So I mean that's good. 
Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Not much to really talk about. Uh, we did have one DQ. I wanted to bring it up. There was a a person who had a uh, a, a voodoo, I think, and a Bix and Andy trigger. And I noticed it early on, like when he closed the bolt. I said, "Wait, did the did the round just go off?" And it did. And I'm like, yeah, "That must have been a slam fire." And so I said, "Hey, you know what? I think you you had a slam fire. I didn't really notice it, but if it, if that's the case, we're gonna have to DQ you if it happens again." And uh, another stage later, I saw it happen. I'm like, "Did that just go off?" And I kind of let it go. And then I think it happened again. And I'm like, "We we have to stop this because it's basically you're having a slam fire condition and it's an unsafe gun." So. So we DQ'd him, but I, I, after we DQ'd him or whatever, we just, I said, hey, let me take like a ref real quick. And so I put a round in there, and I was trying to close the bolt really hard. And I think what happened the first time that I closed close the bolt really hard, I think that it tripped the sear and the firing pin went down, but it wasn't enough to ignite. And then I kept doing it again, and finally I got it to slam fire. And then I took, you know, the, the ammo out, and I was trying to close the bolt really hard, and I was able to consistently get it to trip the sear and and drop the firing pin so and there was a big and trigger he didn't he said he only had it at a pound but it's set to a pound which isn't too light but i think there's probably some adjustment in there on the trigger that needs to be done in order to make sure that it is reliable and safe anyway that's the one kind of issue today but i mean it wasn't serious enough right where it's not like a seriously unsafe condition where somebody is flagging somebody with their muzzle or, or whatnot you know it, and, the, you know, these uh, malfunctions in, in firearms happen, when, especially when you have, you know, modified custom rifles. Um, so we just take that in stride and we just address it as soon as we can. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, we'll close out this vlog. I'm going to do a little bit of testing and then I got to go and turn in my paperwork and all the cash that we collected and uh, head home. Anyway, that's it for today, May 28th here at the West End Gun Club. Have a good Memorial Day tomorrow. Uh, I'm, this is probably going to post tomorrow, so happy Memorial Day. Uh, remember those um, loved ones who served and, you know, just give them homage and keep them in your prayers or whatnot and, you know, give them thanks for what they did for this country. Anyway, take care. Uh, enjoy Memorial Day. I'll see you in the next vlog.